It was a cold December night in 1980, the night my colleagues and I will never forget. I was a young police officer stationed near Rendlesham Forest at the time and had not the slightest idea what that night would hold for us. As we stood there staring, we heard strange, unidentifiable sounds piercing the night. It was as if the forest was alive, as if it was responding to something we could not see. Some of the soldiers claimed to have seen a metallic object on the ground. The story is about a young man named Max Walker, just 25 years old. Max was no stranger to the YouTube cosmos and had his share of success there. I've never been so much for the whole YouTube thing, but Max? He literally lived for it. His passion? Aliens. Ironically though, he often made fun of the subject. A strange protective mechanism, I think. I guess you didn't want to expose yourself to ridicule just because you were interested in the unknown. That's just the way he was. And so he came up with the idea of going to Rindlesham Forest. That forest about which it is said that something happened there with aliens in 1980. Max wanted to make what he called a vlog. He sent me a message just before he left. Chloe, I'm really doing it now. You probably think I'm crazy. But I'm just doing this for fun and for YouTube. It was his last message to me. However... I knew it was about to be more than that for him. It was about his love for aliens. So I replied with a twinkle in my eye. Okay Max, let me know when you discover something. Send me then an alien photo. It was a small joke. Harmless and affectionately meant. But nevertheless the bad conscience torments me until today. I regret, I regret so many things. Sorry. This will have to do for now. It's hard to move on. Simply hard. Okay, well, did we get like his recordings then? Oh, I can't I see? Oh, are we watching his recording? Okay. <laughs> Rendlesham Forest UFO trail. Oh, man. <laughs> they made a trail for it. A little sightseeing area. Damn, that really was a lot. So yeah, this is based on uh, on true events that happened in the forest during 1980. Uh, there were a bunch of sightings of UFOs, and if I remember correctly, it was the U.S. Navy or Air Force. I can't I can't recall too too well. Um, that was stationed in that area. I think they were doing drills or something. I I I, <laughs> I, I may be wrong in that info. Okay. Oh, okay. So it, I guess we're playing as Max now. So these are his very last final moments uh, before he disappears. And that's perfectly fine. At least Chloe is safe. <laughs> oh, it's giving me the instructions on what to do. Glow stick. I have a glow stick? It's... I guess I don't because it's not... Oh, I gotta go to the forest. Okay, so... Okay, here we go. Going off the beaten path and into unknown territory. That's a tree. That's a tree. Those are also trees. <laughs> so, when I download this game, what I like to do uh, when I download games, especially if they're, after they've been out after several hours, because there's always someone willing to go ahead and play these games the moment they get uh, released. If it's good enough, I'll spend They'll probably just link their YouTube videos to it uh, and or just comment. Uh, and one of the comments here is apparently you can we're going to get lost in this forest. <laughs> it's a big ass maze. And yeah, uh, they they spend apparently a very, very long ass time trying to get through. OK, I'm going to go this way. I found another trail. I really don't know if I should be following these trails or just, you know, just keep trying to get lost in the forest. Actually, hold on. Let me see if there's a list or a map. Okay, well, stupid me accidentally exited out of the game. <laughs> so I have to start all over. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I didn't exit the game, you know, too far into it. And we were just getting back in. 
Oh. They put a warning sign. Are they serious? Well, it's a little funny. They really believe there are aliens here. <laughs> but guys, don't get me wrong. We all know the story. And I once experienced something crazy. You want to hear it? Believe me, you'll never forget this. It is so... What the hell? The fuck was that? Sound like a tree fell. Just like that. Guys, I'll tell you like it is. That was scary. But that's exactly what we wanted. That's why we are here. And I didn't get to read the rest. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so there's going to be two commentators during this gameplay. I am your first commentator, and then there's the second commentator. How are you going to tell when we're switching? You don't. <laughs> so, if you're watching this... Uh, you'll be able to see that there's a little uh, the text will start appearing in the bottom and if you're just listening in You'll never know who's talking. Is it me or is it the game? Ooh, Spooky <laughs> Either way, let's continue with our story. I have no idea where we're going uh, I know he said he heard a tree falling. Do we have to go towards it? Or I'm just gonna keep following this trail honestly uh I think I did mention something earlier that someone commented that this game is... Is that a flashlight? That they got stuck in the forest trying... A flashlight. As if there are other people in the forest in here. Yeah. Oh, glow stick! Can I... Okay. Do I need to follow the glow sticks? Is it... It's a dead end here. You can place glow sticks in certain places. These can serve you as a guide, so take a good look around. Okay. Can can you can you get away? Should I place a glow stick here then? Oh. Oh, it's a marker for me. Wait. This is kinda getting making me wonder. Am I gonna need to run and follow these glow sticks? Oh man, it's not letting me go that way. Okay, so there's an invisible wall there. Darn. Okay, ah, I'm so, I'm already lost. <laughs> Where's my glow stick? There's my glow stick. Okay. Let's, let's go this way. <laughs> I wonder if there's uh, areas where it's set to lay down glow sticks, you know? Oh, damn it, I hit the invisible wall again. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go that way. Damn it. Where am I supposed to go? And I don't even see my glow stick anymore. How? How? <laughs> What's the point of having the glow sticks if, you, if it's not going to be useful? Oh, well, then again, glow sticks are never really useful. <laughs> They're not that bright. <sighs> Damn it. I'm going to be here a long ass while, that's for sure. And I'm already hitting the invisible wall. Okay. I think we should just keep following this invisible wall. Eventually, it'll lead me somewhere, right? Right? <laughs> I hope so. And it's a shame. We can't even run. You know? I, the game won't let me run. Unless maybe further down we're going to need to. And, and then maybe it will. But right now, yeah. I, I, I'm stuck with, with walking speed. Am I back in the beginning? I wish I had a map. You know? Something to tell me... Uh, or at least... Find out where exactly I am. <laughs> oh, Eve. Oh. My lights went out. Why? Why did the light on my... The light went out. And I can't see anything. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know what the hell that is. I can't see. This makes it so much worse. Okay, I think we should just go ahead and leave the forest, you know? Okay. Better pass by an area that... That affected my light? I don't know what... <laughs> I don't like this. Uh... Uh, 
Okay, uh, uh, damn it. Another invisible wall. Okay, I don't... <laughs> I know I should go in there, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, there's a trail right there. Should I... <sighs> like I said, we got no choice. We got to go through the forest. Is this a crater? It looks like we found ourselves a crater here. Oh, there's a laptop. What the hell? A laptop in the forest? Who's kidding me? It still works. What? Hey guys, I can't believe it, but I started my secret mission today. I went to the mysterious forest to look for those supposed aliens. Yeah, yeah, I know. It sounds totally crazy. But I just couldn't res- I couldn't resist. I mean, how cool would it be if aliens actually existed? You will laugh, but I have heard that there are people out there who are firmly convinced of this. And you know what? There's actually a case where an American testified in court under oath that he saw UFOs. I mean, if that's not proof, I don't know what is. I've also heard about these stories that the aliens supposedly live on the ground. Crazy, right? That's why I'm, I've been digging everywhere today. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a secret alien lair. But seriously, guys, I'm really just here for fun. I don't really believe in aliens. But at least it's an exciting change from my normal routine. And if I'm being honest, yours, the force is a bit scary. Especially when it gets dark. But don't worry. I have my flashlight with me. You never know what you might find in the dark corners of the forest. So I'll keep you posted if, any, if I make any mysterious discoveries. In the meantime, I'm just enjoying the adventurous atmosphere and feeling like I've landed a sci-fi movie. See you soon, Bella. And Bella was never heard from ever again. Okay. How do I get rid of this? Oh, come on. I'm done reading. I like to, I like to go on. Oh, damn. I'm stuck here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That was weird. You had to uh, click on the scroll, on the little scroll on your mouse just to uh, close it up. Okay, so we found this clue. I'm guessing the flashlight that we picked up earlier was actually from her. So yeah, definitely uh, she did not make it. <laughs> She's not going to be seen anytime soon whatsoever. And unfortunately, Max is definitely going to be the next person who's going to be a victim in here. Okay. So I've heard some clicking sounds, some creatures in the forest. I hear crickets, so that's a sign. Alright. Here's the yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a trail I saw earlier before I I found the laptop. There's something over there. Oh. This UFO is supposed to represent what's supposed to land in nineteen eighty. Many tourists take pictures here. We are definitely putting this down. Oh, okay, that was that's actually closer. To that one spot we were just at. Huh. The Rendlesham Forest incident was a series of reported sightings of unexplained lights where Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk, England in December 1980, which became linked with UFO landings. The events occurred just outside of Woodbridge, which was used at the time by the United States Air Force. Oh, okay, so it was the Air Force, not the Navy. Okay. USAF personnel, including Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles... Uh, Halt, I halt, claimed to see things they described as a UFO. The occurrence is the most famous of UFO events to have happened in the United Kingdom and is among the best known reported UFO events worldwide. It has been compared to the Roswell UFO incident in the United States and is sometimes called Britain's Roswell. The UK Ministry of Defense has stated that the event posed no threat to national security and therefore it was never investigated as a security matter. Skeptics have explained the settings as a misinterpretation of a series of nocturnal lights, a fireball, the afford affordness lighthouse, and bright stars. Alrighty. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I couldn't remember if it was the Navy or the Air Force, but now we got a clear answer. Oh, someone's lantern. That's probably hers. Interact. I see something over there, so I'm going to check it out. It looks like another flashlight. Or, no, it's just another lamp. Okay, I see my flare over there. 
And uh, okay, okay, where's that? Okay, there it is. Let's see what we're gonna be interacting. These are other bushes. I can't get through them that way. I'm tearing my skin. Uh, does that mean we continue through here? Or it's just a dead end? Is this... Or maybe we have to find something. I have a feeling we're going to need to find something uh, to cover us. So then we can, you know, travel through those brushes. Okay. Ah, damn it. Which means I'm going to have to get lost. <laughs> and somehow find my way back here. Which I have no idea how I even got here in the first place. Because... I've been walking around the forest for who knows how long. It's been about 30 minutes as of right now for me. <laughs> Just walking around trying to find this uh, clues in the forest. Um, I'm going to say I probably have two more to go through to try to find. Uh, just from the fact that of my little, uh, what you call them, what you call them, the little glow sticks. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, I... Definitely haven't passed through here. And this is the first time I'm passing those rocks. Oy. I wish it was a little easier to follow. Like I said, a map would definitely would have been nice to have. And I am on... I found, I found another trail? Or maybe I just rediscovered the same trail I was in earlier. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where's Dora and her, and her map? Her magical backpack of things. <laughs> I definitely need her right now to help us out. And hell, if there's an alien, you know, lurking around here, <laughs> at least we'll be able to outrun it. Well, maybe, maybe not. But we'll have a better chance because Dora's gonna, it's got those stubby little legs. I doubt she's fast enough to outrun a grown adult. <laughs> and I'm not weighed down by, uh, by a backpack and its magical properties. I saw something over there. It looked like... I thought I saw fireflies for a minute. Like a whole group of them just floating around. Wait, that's my flare. Damn it! I just, I, sh I went full circle. Ah. All right, let's go back this way. Hey, I found a backpack. Here's a backpack in the middle of the forest. What is this strange and creepy document? In an extraordinary hearing before a confidential congressional committee, John Brunch, a former employee of a secret government facility, provided startling testimony that could turn the notion of extraterrestrial life on its head. Under oath, John Brunch claimed that non-human objects have been covered up for decades by, by top government agencies. During the hearing, John Brunch re recounted shocking observations and information he had gathered during his time in the service. He claimed that he personally witnessed experiments and tests involving aliens. John Brunch stated that he had seen remains of these non-human beings being studied by the government. Perhaps John Brunt's most disturbing revelation was that these aliens could po supposedly live on the ground because they were unable to survive due to conditions on the Earth's surface. He claimed that the classic appearance known as Grace is actually a protective suit they wear to protect themselves from our environment. In addition, John Brunch testified that numerous UFO sightings have been documented by the military, many of which have never been made public. These UFOs, according to John Brunch, were technologically far superior and controlled by a secret organization operating outside the regular government hierarchy. John Brunch's shocking statements raised many questions and have sparked a heated debate about the existence of extraterrestrial life. The government has, no, has so far refused to comment on these revelations. Alright, so that was an article from like 2021. You know, about like two years ago. And it's funny. We found it so close to that. Um, the digs are right here. So I'm still obviously w walking around in, in the forest. Lost as hell. Uh, of <laughs> where to go. And that thing was barely noticeable. I just happened to see 
a random sh like a square shape on a tree and it just kept have caught you know caught my eye so i, I got lucky with that one I <laughs> Like I said, it's making. If I had a map, this things this would be so much easier to try to uh, uh, check each, each and every single area I may have gone through or may have missed. And all these trails are like, yeah. See, here's an here's that trail and led me back to that uh, little UFO display or whatever. But yeah, actually, there was um, there is a theory out there that what we're seeing is not really actually uh, extraterrestrials. It's more of um like human beings from the future you know that's basically that we're that's us and you know because of darwinism and one how we had to become more compact in order to do space travel why is this spot so lit up though <laughs> okay i see y'all see this right there's a spot right here that's lit up and there's nothing here Oh, wait, you know what? I might have picked something up from here a little while ago. That might be it. It's just probably just a remnants of, of of me interacting with it. What that was, I can't say for sure because I don't recall. But either way, back to the, that theory. Um, yeah, so the theory is that, you know, it's actually... They're just human beings, and like you said, they can't handle the environment of Earth. So they have to wear these suits in order to protect themselves. Um... Because apparently in the future, everything's so vastly different. And, and of course, they, you know, they are, they're no longer adaptable to the Earth as they used to be. Who knows what happens in the future? But <laughs> obviously something happened and, and that we had to change drastically to the point where we can no longer live on Earth. So, yeah, that's one of the theories I've heard. Uh, there, there are several others that I can't recall at the moment. That one just kind of popped out of nowhere. As most of my memory does, you know, <laughs> facts and informations. Uh, it seems to be a guy thing, you know. We just seem to, uh, ha you know, learn things as we go through life, and then and they just pop out of nowhere. It's like, oh yeah, like did you know that sunflowers follow the sun? And when there is no sun and it's a cloudy day, they face each other. Pretty cool, right? Oh, and that they also absorb radiation. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure is the reason why they uh, follow the sun because it's a big ball of radiation in the sky, and then when they don't, you know, it's not there anymore. Of course, they look at each other because they are holding radiation and they sense it in one another. Okay, so the game glitched out on me again and wouldn't let me uh, continue the gameplay. So I had to start all over, which is weird because it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me con press continue. All I wanted to do was check the settings, and uh, <laughs> you know. See if maybe I could, you know, get some sort of clue or something. Because obviously it's, it's just meh. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here, folks. Uh, So, the game crashed on me. Well, I would say crashed. So, uh, I tried to go through the storyline again. This is like the third time I'm going through it. And now I can't get rid of this... Uh, <laughs> this uh little message uh, after reading the, the laptop I'm, I'm, you know, i can walk around obviously like i can walk around and look at things but if something happens uh we're gonna be looking at this the entire time so there's no point and honestly i don't want to go ahead and keep fighting with it um this is you know an indie game so of course there's going to be issues whenever you download one of these games there's always some sort of issue um other than that, uh, but other than that, uh, aside from all the faults in the game, I actually like this. This is actually pretty cool. I like the fact that I'm going around the uh, uh, the forest finding these clues of this one other person, Bella, who is also like you know just she's doing this for fun, you know, trying you know uh, so she can get out of the house. I'm guessing you know trying to change her routine, but turns out that she is now gone missing herself. And of course, Max. The guy we're playing as will also go missing, and then the, it'll end up in Chloe's doorstep somehow. I don't know how that happens. But either way, I'm going to end it off right here for y'all. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't get through the game. <laughs> Maybe once the, uh, the the game developer fixes it up a bit, I'll give it another shot. Uh, until then, I'm going to have to end it here right here. Otherwise, I'm going to have a freaking aneurysm, and you'll never hear from me again. And we don't want that now, do we? No, of course not. <laughs>
Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like. And if you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.